Hello, I am Chandra Huff, a civil engineer at the Michigan Department of Transportation. More specifically, I focus on maintaining the intelligent transportation systems around the metro Detroit area. As you know, there's tons of traffic on Michigan roads, but we also have two bridges that are responsible for moving products to and from Canada. First is the Blue Water Bridge to Ontario, located in Port Huron, Michigan. And second, the Ambassador Bridge to Windsor is located in Detroit, Michigan. Now you use Michigan roads every day to get from point A to point B. No matter if you're just going from home to work, home to school, home to the grocery store, or just going anywhere, Intelligent Transportation Systems, commonly known as ITS, play an integral role in making sure your journey goes as smoothly as possible. MDOT monitors and manages traffic and transportation operation centers that are strategically placed around Michigan. Individual ITS devices are the main tools that make that possible, and sometimes various ITS devices are combined to provide optimal traffic management for certain areas. Some individual device types are dynamic message signs, which overhang along our major highways. These signs are typically used to display information about traffic conditions, such as travel times, construction, and road incidents. Closed circuit televisions are used to visually monitor and manage traffic flow, and microwave vehicle detection systems collect traffic data. Sometimes, individual devices can be combined to provide more information for MDOT to help manage traffic, but they can also inform drivers of upcoming hazards. Roadway weather information systems collect weather data, pavement data, and water level data. Also, MDOT flex routes along US-23 and soon to be completed I-96 provide up to the minute traffic information and improve driver safety. Flex routes use the previously mentioned devices and gantries to provide real time traffic information. The DMS provides advanced notice of traffic conditions. The other signs display recommended speeds and show yellow chevrons that warn of incidents ahead in a given lane. In this case, you should probably move to the open lane. Green arrows indicate open lanes, and red crosses let you know that the lane is closed along the corridor. Currently, these devices are critical to help MDOT improve safety and ease traffic congestion. But as technology advances, Michigan's ITS devices will help make sure that our infrastructure is ready for the next waves of innovations with connected vehicles and autonomous transportation.